Hey dinosaur and prehistoric animal fans, this is Strangzilla here with a review on the Safari Limited American Mastodon. Now, the Mastodon is overshadowed by the more famous Woolly Mammoth, so I'm going to introduce the Mastodon to all those who don't know this guy. Although, if you know your dinosaurs and prehistoric animals, you'll obviously know what the Mastodon is, or was. But for those who don't know, I'm going to introduce him. The Mastodon was a relative of the Mammoth and Elephant. It evolved in the Pliocene 4 million years ago and became extinct 10,000 years ago at the end of the Pleistocene Epoch. And it lived in shrubland, unlike the Mammoth that lived in grassland. It also has a very interesting story as well. In 1840, a guy named Albert Cock discovered a lot of Mastodon boards and created a monster out of them and took it on tour calling it the Missouri Leviathan. How observed! That's like say I took a classic dog prop, decorated it with some items that were discovered in an ancient Hindu temple, and took it on tour across the country calling it the Hindu Trong. But anyway, when it went on display in London, Richard Owen bought the skeleton, reconstructed it and renamed it the Mastodon. You can still see it at the Natural History Museum to this day. Right, so a model itself, unlike the Missouri Leviathan, which was scientifically inaccurate, Safaris is as accurate to the real beast and is regarded to be one of the best figures for 2018 along with the Anzu Wiley. Now, like I said, the Mastodon is overshadowed by the Mammoth. Well, do you want to hear something that's ironic? Sometimes the mammoth is mistaken for the mastodon. Yeah, a popular beast that is mistaken for an underrated creature. How did that happen? Well, here is the American mastodon with the woolly mammoth. And yes, they do look similar. But there are some differences. The mammoth is bigger and bulky, while his cousin is shorter. The mammoth lived in cold environments, depending on what species, but we're looking at the woolly mammoth. However, the mastodon lived in warmer territories. Both had long tusks, but the mammoths were longer, and the hair was shaggy and thick, while the mastodon's was thin. They both had different styles of teeth. There are loads of videos on YouTube that go into more detail comparing the two. There are a couple of things on the American Mastodon that I want to mention before talking about the figure itself. If I bring these up now, then they will be out of the way and I won't forget them. The Mastodon did appear in Walk with Beasts, but it has appeared in other prehistoric programs, such as Ice Age Giants and Wild New World. There are some others, but those are the two that come to mind. And over at La Brea Tar Pits, aside from the mammoth statues, there is another statue of an elephant-like creature. And I'm not too sure, but I've got a feeling that it might be the American Mastodon. Well, it doesn't look as bulky as the mammoths, and the tusks aren't too long, and I look at it and it does scream Mastodon. Okay, we're going to look at the figure for real this time. Now, when Safari Limited announced that they were making an American Mastodon, I was completely blown away because I thought that they were never going to make prehistoric mammal figures ever again. They were just going to stick with the dinosaurs. And I always thought that if we do get a Mastodon, it'd probably be from Collector or Papo. But no, this year Safari Limited made an American Mastodon and a selection of prehistoric mammal figures. And they should do this from now on, have a selection of dinosaurs and prehistoric beasts that lived before and after. Like Eofauna's step mammoth, it feels like Safari Limited went back in time and took a picture of a real mastodon and recreated it. A lot of people who own this figure are saying that it feels alive. And whenever I do hold the model, it does feel like the figure is looking back at me. And not only that, but when I'm not holding the figure, it makes me wonder still when it's going to come alive. Mastodons were brown and maybe had bits of light black in some areas of the body. 
and Safari Limited have replicated all that in the paint job. Safari are shown the American Mastodon walking and with the trunk raised up. Perhaps the Mastodon is gone on a walk and has spotted some leaves or even pine cones in a tree and has decided to stop for a snack. The Mastodon has a pretty long tail and at the end he has a black fur thing. It is called something but I have forgotten what it is if it does have a name and I suspect that it might have been used for swan away flies. At least I think that's what it did. As I said earlier, the Mastodon is walking, and as you can see, two feet are flat on the ground, the back foot is halfway up, and one is raised up, but two of the toes are touching the floor. I did mean to show the padded underneath, but stupid me forgot. On the Step Mammoth, the trunk was raised in a calling position, however, on the Mastodon, it appears to be more casual and sniffing for food rather than alerting others. Also, I like the way that the trunk has been made and I like the nostrils. They appear to be lifelike. In fact, there are times when I look at the figure and the nostrils appear to be wet. On many figures, my favorite part of the body is the head and Safari has not disappointed because like I said, this figure feels alive and the Mastodon can see all and hear all. And for our line-like wrinkles on the trunk, you can't see them in this picture, but you could see them in the flesh. And of course, there are the tusks. And at first, they look as if they are the same size. However, one tusk is actually slightly longer than the other. And if one tusk is long, that's the best tusk and is the one that the Mastodon uses regularly to rest the trunk and use it for other uses. The American Mastodon is large when viewed above and below you can see that this is a mighty beast just like the Step Mammoth and also like Step Tour, the mouth is open however the mouth is really tiny compared to the Step Mammoth who has a huge mouth. And now it's size comparison time now, I already showed him with the Papa Woolly Mammoth, but here he is with the Triple A Woolly Mammoth, which was my first Woolly Mammoth figure that I ever got. And as you can see, the sizing is inaccurate. Also, I would like to mention that when I start getting other Mammoth figures, I used to use this as the Mastodon, but my eyes still told me that it's another Mammoth. Here he is with the Papo Smilodon, and he looks pretty good with the top predator of the Ice Age. And here he is with Schleich's Megatherium, aka Giant Grand Sloth. And the size in here is severely off. I mean, why on earth did Schleich make their Giant Grand Sloth so small? What were they thinking? He wasn't called Megatherium for nothing. Hopefully we'll get a bigger model of this guy someday. Next up is the Collector Dinotherium. Now Dinotherium was 4 meters tall and 13 feet, at least for males, and females were 3.5 meters and 11.5 feet. And the American Mastodon was 5.7 meters. Either way, I have a hunch that Dinotherium was a lot bigger than the Mastodon. However, as you can see here, the two figures are roughly the same size as each other. And here he is with the Eofauna Scientific Research Step Mammoth, which we have previously reviewed on this channel, so the link will be in the description. And the Step Mammoth was a lot bigger than the American Mastodon. Also, you may notice that the tusks of the Mastodon are clean and the Step Mammoths are weathered. These guys look fantastic together and are both highly praised. So final thoughts on the Safari Limited American Mastodon. Honestly guys, what are you waiting for? This is a must have, and it's not too often we get a Mastodon, and this is coming from someone who wasn't a fan of these beasts. Yeah, that's a shock. Once upon a time, in a decade called the 90s, I wasn't a huge fan of the Mastodon, 
I was always into the Mammoth. To me, the Mastodon looked more like an inferior version of his famous cousin, but over time he grew on me, and like I said earlier, I used the now hard to come by AAA Woolly Mammoth as the Mastodon. Nevertheless, it's fantastic to have a proper Mastodon figure in the collection, and I know that collector is currently making the Gomphotherium, but I really hope that Safari Limited will make more prehistoric elephants or mammals in general. I have no complaints on this guy, and I give him 10 stars! This is Dragonzilla signing out. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, and by the way, I got this guy off EverythingDinosaur.com. I'll put the link in the description so you can go get yours. So, thank you, Every Dinosaur, for sending me this fantastic figure. Okay, I'm going for real this time. Bye.